we can see what might be relationships between price and clarity and price and color, which we'll keep in mind for later when we start modeling our data. You might remember this when you created the box plots in problem set three. Be that as it may, the critical factor driving price is the size or the carat weight of the diamond. As we saw at the start of the lesson, the relationship between price and diamond size is nonlinear. What might explain this pattern? On the supply side, larger contiguous chunks of diamonds without significant flaws are probably harder to find than smaller ones. This might help explain the sort of exponential looking curve, and I thought I noticed this when I was shopping for a diamond for my soon-to-be wife. Of course, this is related to the fact that the weight of a diamond is a function of volume, and volume is a function of the length times the width times the height of a diamond. And this suggests that we might be especially interested in the cube root of carat weight. It's often the case that leveraging substantive knowledge about your data like this can lead to especially fruitful transformations. And we'll see that in a second. 